guys, welcome back to another video. Now today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. As you can see, I'm not in my bedroom, it's because I'm, I'm at my dad's. I thought I'd come and use this surroundings here. So today I'm going to be doing my preview um, for the game of the weekend against against the pile of <laughs> from down the road and Arsenal. So come and join me in this preview and see what I think in the game. Let's go. So guys, as you know, Tottenham have been on form recently. They've been winning games. And in the last two games at home, they've won 4 0. Brilliant, that is all we need. They've won their last two games at home. And at the minute, they're on an unbeaten run at home. And I'll tell you what, Spurs, you better be ready because we're coming for you. And we're going to put an end to that little run that you've got going on at the minute. Second in the league? Pah. You won't be there for long, I'll tell you that. You're all going to go on, oh yeah, we finished second in the league above you in. In, for the first time in 20 years. 20 years. Get that in your head. First time in 20 years, you must be embarrassed. Because I'll tell you what, I would have been as well. But we got, we, we, now, all we got to do now is go go down to the little white art lane and beat them and... Obviously, when you come to the Emirates, um, we drew 1-1 one, one with you. Bit of shame, that one, it? That win my own goal. And then, obviously, that Harry Kane penalty. I'll tell you what, you better be ready to talk, because we are coming for you. Literally. Coming for you. Arsenal, on the other hand, they've had a brilliant um, game run. Um, as, as you know, they beat Leicester the other night. One year wasn't the best game I've seen from Arsenal recently. Um, Alexis played really poor, not getting enough of the, b not obviously getting enough of the ball. Um, I I've seen him do so much better than that. But obviously, the last shot in the 88th minute from Nacho Monreal took a deflection of Robert Hoof, and it went in. Obviously, I'll tell you what, if we play against us. Spurs the weekend, we're going to get absolutely battered. And um, thank God it's the last game at White Hart Lane, because I'll tell you what, Wembley, next season, <laughs> and how are you going to do that? You're balled up in the Champions League, in your Europa League, even in the FA Cup, balls it up. Congratulations. Wembley ain't the place for you, is it? Hopefully next season you'll get relegated. I'll tell you what happens, I'll laugh, absolutely laugh. <sighs> oh yeah, you've got Champions League again, didn't you, next year? Oh, I forgot about that. <sighs> Europa League calling, Europa League calling. Knock out, knock out. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do my 1-11 to for Arsenal against Tottenham Hotspur. Let's go. In goal, I'm going to go with Petr Cech. He had a brilliant game. Um, against um, Leicester the other night, made one incredible save. I tell you what, I couldn't have saved that myself, really. Brilliant save from Petr Cech. And now for this one, I'm going to go with a back three. Um, new um, formation, Arsenal Wenger's introdu introduced recently. I'll tell you what, I kind of like it. Um, in the middle, I'm going to go with Lauren Koscielny, leader, the man. Strong and just Edering saying that we need to stop Harry Kane from getting in the box. Next to him on the left, I'm gonna go with Gabriel, really strong recently, been playing really well for us recently to be true. I don't feel I didn't think I'd be saying that to you guys, but he has. On the right of him of Kashelny, I'm gonna go with Rob Holding. God this man has been on fire recently. Young and came from Bolton, they were probably all like, oh yeah, who's his geezer, right? Eh? From Bolton? Bolton? I'll tell you what, probably one of the best defenders we've got. One of them. Um, on the um, right, I'm going to go with... Um, on the right, I'm going to go with Fair Walcott. We need pace in there. And... Well... Just need to get past, um, what's his name? 
Danny Rose in here. Mm, yeah, Danny Rose. Um, in the middle, I'm gonna go with Chamberlain. Strong. He's been our best player this season. I've said this on this channel all throughout the season. Been our best player so far. Next to Chamberlain in the centre, I'm gonna go with Granite Shaka. <laughs> now him. He has been okay for us recently. Not the best form that I've seen him play, but he will be good for that game, I think. On the left, obviously, I'm going to go with... Who should I put on the left? I don't think... I'm going to go with Nacho Monreal. Now, what am I doing? Yeah, Nacho Monreal. He's good at getting forward, he gets in the box, and... Gets on the edge of the box if you need it. It would just be a brilliant player to have in that position. In the number 10 role, Mesut Ozil had the best season, to be honest with you. I've seen him play better. I know he can do better. We just need to see that Madrid form from him. Now, front two, I'm going to go with Giroud and, obviously, the little Chilean, Alexis Sanchez. As I said, Sanchez hasn't had the best form against Leicester. FA Cup, phew. He had a brilliant game, absolutely brilliant game. Well, hold on, hold on, I'm just remembered. Wembley, Wembley, we are the famous Arsenal, we got the Wembley. Final against Chelsea. I'll tell you what, shame about that 4 2 loss. <laughs> so, guys, that's the end of this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below what you think the score is going to be against Tottenham Hotspur and Arsenal. Um, I'm, my prediction is obviously going to be a 2-0 Arsenal with Alexis Sanchez. And this is going to be a little weird one, but I reckon Mon Meow is going to get another goal again. Cool. Anyway, I'm going to look forward to the game tomorrow. I'm nervous and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.